Let's take a look at something you might want to try. It's slightly different. It's called prospecting. We're talking about prospecting. This is how to get over cold calling once and for all. Now, we all know that cold calling is dead. So cold calling, uh, call it what, or cold emailing, <laughs> these things of thing, is dead now. We want to get away from that. So here's an idea for you to try if you're in the business of selling to consumers directly. Um, or selling to businesses, it works there as well. But consumers is where we're at, really. Um, now, the, the metaphor here is the data life lending market and lending to the elderly. Now, what normally happens is people get a database, they contact it, people say, do you want to buy this, do you want to buy that, do you want to buy that? And you can contact people through various means and methods, and that's fine, I get that. But what you're doing there is you're selling. So here's what you do. Number of steps. First of all, you've got to know who your customer is. So third time this morning, I'm going to draw my little picture because I'd like to draw my little picture of Bob or Jim or whoever it is. You've got to know your customer. You've got to know what their needs are. You've got to know what their challenges are. You've got to know what their problems are. You've got to really understand what the customer is all about before you even reach them. So you've got to segment your marketplace. Know who is it you're trying to contact. And in the later life market, I'm looking at people in retirement who have a need for a lump sum of money for whatever reason that is. So that's the kind of person I'm looking for, who own a property outright without mortgage. So that's, that's where I'm going with, with that. The next thing you do, once you're crystal clear as to the products or, or the problems and challenges and needs they have, is you then write some information. That might be a white paper, but you put some information together. Now you might be good at writing, so you might put a, a white paper, how to obtain money, how to release money from your property, how to do equity release. You want to put in that information everything they need to know to do it themselves. That's the important thing, DIY, do it themselves. Now this might be a booklet, it might be a printed booklet, it might be a uh, written booklet, it might be an e-book, it doesn't really matter. It might be a video clip that you're doing, you know, your video. it might be a podcast that you're doing, uh, might be you know, my little sort of music thing there. It could be any means of producing information. But you mustn't skimp on it. You must give them everything they need to do. And then what you do is you contact the customer, however you wish to do it. It could be by direct mail, no wrong with that. It could be by email. You could even phone them. You could use uh, live chats, whatever method you've got to contact the customer. But you don't sell them anything. You just ask permission to send them the information that you talked about. Obviously, they've got the problems and needs and challenges because you've, 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 you've researched that. And, and people will say, yeah, send it to me or, or email it or whatever it is. And that's what you do. That's all you do. And then you wait. And then you sit back and you wait. You don't contact them again two weeks later. Did you get the book? What do you think of it? Yeah, don't do that. That's salesy. No, you don't want to do that. All you do is wait. And there, there's people will, will make three decisions think about it. The first thing, because psychology coming into it themselves. The first thing is they might do it themselves. They might decide to do it themselves because they, they've got the expertise or the want to do it themselves. Um, and that's fine. Um, so that's the first decision. That's great because um, you're helping them. The second decision is they might do nothing. They might just go to the status quo and just forget about it, which is fine as well. The third customer wants to do it but hasn't got the time or the expertise to do it and is quite happy to bring somebody in to do it for them. They might just be busy. They might just not have the time. But in the later life market, people generally have time. They may not have the expertise. They may not have the, the sort of ability to do it. They might not have the trust to do it themselves. So they'll bring you in because you've demonstrated your capability in whatever it is you, you've created. They'll bring you in. They'll ask you to deal with it. Whether they'll go and shop around for the service is entirely up to how well you deal with them. But they will contact you. Try it. You won't have any stress. You won't have any pressure. If you're selling, if you're doing this as a call center, there's a lot of you involved here. Maybe put a couple of you on this method and a few of you on the old fashioned method of selling to people on the telephone or email. But all you do, it works. Try it. It's, um, it's, it's something I'm using and I'm doing really well and successfully. So hopefully you'll do the same. Bye.